So we have limited visibility in some cases. We already have snow on the ground in others, and there's plenty of this storm still to come. It's moving out of the southeast and going to be moving into the northeast. So as it crawls up the coast, that's where we're going to start to um, see some of the other winter storm alerts go into effect. There is the low pressure system, and it has a trailing cold front that is moving across Florida right now. There's also high pressure well to the north, and that high pressure has really been uh, the force that's put the cold air in place, and temperatures are making all the difference. Um, because of the cold air that's in place, a lot of the rain that falls will actually turn into ice on impact, and that starts to glaze over the streets, the sidewalks, also power lines and trees. And so that ice threat is where we have a majority of our focus because as that storm takes form and potentially takes out the power, you're going to want to be ready because cold conditions are going to persist. And so that means the loss of electricity. Winter weather alerts elsewhere. We have the winter storm warnings and then the advisories on the outskirts of this system. That doesn't really lessen the impacts. It just changes kind of the focus for them because we still could have issues with coastal winds creating beach erosion and even damaging wind situations where we don't see the snow and ice. So there's the future track. We're dealing with it all day into this evening and late tonight as a storm wraps out of the Carolina and moves further to the north. Sunday night into early Monday, parts of the Northeast, including western Pennsylvania, western New York, and even into New England will be dealing with this storm. Greensboro, the heart of this ice accumulation, where it could go to a half inch of additional ice accumulation on top of what we're already seeing. When we get ice like that, we have numerous power outages, some tree damages, roads basically turn into ice rinks, and we've got um, major issues to contend with. So that's the reason for all the warnings from governors to um, road officials saying you want to stay indoors and avoid the impacts of the storm on the roads. From Asheville up to Roanoke, the southern Piedmont, the southern Appalachians, going to see some massive snow accumulation. We're from eight inches to more than a foot and a half. Up in Roanoke, really looking to get pummeled as an inch per hour snow rates are expected for as long as eight hours. This is going to be a long duration storm for parts of the southeast. And as it rolls into the northeast, we've got more to put up with. Steve, this is a nasty looking storm from all angles. I'm Amy Freeze. Welcome to Fox Weather's YouTube page. We have more great videos on the way, so make sure to subscribe to stay updated on all things weather.